So I stopped on this stand because I thought this was rather interesting and even more interesting, when you think Ted Baker, you don't necessarily think ceramics, but that's all changed because they've done a collaboration with Port Merion and joining me now is Phil from Port Merion. Hi. Tell us all about this then, how did this come about? I will, well, obviously Port Merion as a brand is renowned for its quality um, wear and we felt that we needed a younger product range within our portfolio. We already have some great products, but we were looking to attract the 20 and 30 somethings okay. in terms of age group. So we looked around and decided who is like us in terms of edgy design, who has the quality levels that we attain to, who's a great British brand, and who has a footprint across the globe. And clearly from our side of things, Ted Baker is that company. Brilliant. We're very, very similar in, uh, in, in the way that we work and their culture is very similar to ours. Now, do you get that response a lot? I mean, when I think Ted Baker, I'm definitely not thinking ceramic. So this is fairly new, is it? What's people's reaction to it been like? This is fairly new. We've sold uh, product to Australia. We've sold product to Canada. Uh, we've got product sales around the world. UK customers are coming on, placing orders. So it's a fantastic reaction. Suddenly it attracts a new audience and great for gifting. I would say, I mean, these are some beautiful designs, aren't they? How did, how did this kind of come about and how long was this in kind of the process? OK, well, this is a design called Rosie Lee and that's inspired by Ted Baker Port Merion and their new um, pattern for Spring Summer 15, which is called Distinguished Rose. So that was developed from that look and we've interpreted it and obviously put that onto ceramic wear. Who was in charge of this? I love this. This is our design team and, uh, and our prop team and it looks fantastic, it's doesn't it? It's very quirky, yes. it makes you stop. And we've got another collection over here as well. This is slightly different yes. kind of vibe to the one that we've got here. No, no less beautiful though. What's, what's this one and how was this inspired? This is called the Casual Collection. And again, this is inspired by Ted Baker's latest range of products. And you can see Ted Baker's shirts tend to have different cuffs, different collars, different insides. And we've done the same on the wear. So if you look at the products, you will see that we've taken inspiration from the shirts by having different patterns on each part of the mug here, which again links into a shirt collection. So this is Ted's Spring Summer 15 shirt collection. Again, I'm liking the quirky display, I like what you've done Thank there you with the place. Um, yes. Now, the natural, we spoke about it a little bit before we came over, but mm -hmm. the kind of the natural assumption, I put my teeth back yes. in, is that this is kind of more geared towards your male consumer, mm -hmm. whereas over there is perhaps female. But is that actually proving to be the case? No, we're actually picking up about 50% on each. So 50% so okay. of men like this, 50% of females like this. So for us, it's fantastic. It's for, for everybody. It's for everybody, <laughs> yes. Okay, Metrosexual. So, well, yes. why not? So you're here with Port Merion. Have we got anything else in there that you want to show us before we, we have. go? Just bear with me. There was a few things as we walked through that caught my eye. Yes, we have a lot of things in here Let's to show you. Let's go and have a nosy then. It's like Pandora's box, it isn't is it? It is fabulous. <laughs> so probably one of the... Let's, let's go over. Oh, Sophie Conran. This is nice. And Sophie Conran. We have tended to have the Sophie Conran white range, which is inspired by handmade pottery. As you can see, it looks like a potter has made this. And you can see the uh, craftsmanship and the workmanship on here. It looks like it's been thrown in the middle and obviously out. We've taken this one step further and applied a blue sponge printing process. So this is inspired by the 1800s, where people would sit in their house and in print with a sponge designs around the edges. Really like it. Is this proven a popular collection? Uh, very popular. Very, very nice. popular. Yeah, we think that's going to grow significantly. Yeah. Anything yes. else that you want to show us? Yes, I will show you. <laughs> Why not? I'll show you. I love the passion and excitement Absolutely. you've got for it. There was a big smile and have I got anything else to show you? Oh, Come this plenty. way. <laughs> so here we've got Rendale. Rendale um, is a range nice. of different designs which are in basically developed by a lady called Hannah Dale um, who's an artist and it's a range of natural animals basically which she develops and designs and mainly is cards so there's a lot of cards around like this but we're selling significant amounts of this now is this a fairly new collection then this is about two years old now oh. two and a half years old but um we're doing big business Still on this selling one massive yeah really is and anything else i saw pepper uh, pig somewhere pepper pig. let me take you to thomas pepper tank first. Oh, oh thomas yeah. first yeah so for the boy. an old favorite so for the boy we've got thomas tank Brilliant. over 70 years old now he's looking um, good isn't he he is looking very good isn't he <laughs> Is this, well, I was going yes. to say, has this been popular? But I guess that's a silly question. Oh, really, huge, huge. I mean, great for grandparents, obviously buying for the grandkids, parents for the children, etc. Very, very popular. And, and pepper, let's and go pepper look pig. at pepper. Yes. You've got some lovely collection. Oh, yes, of course, I remember that. The Hungry Caterpillar. Yeah, that's right. And Pe Pepper Pig, which obviously is huge at the moment. Um, coming up to 10 years old now, Pepper Pig. Um, very, very popular. 
So for Port Merion as a brand, obviously you're really well known, but does coming yes. to exhibitions such as this, does that really help raise your profile, get new leads, help yes. with business growth? Tell us from your experience. Yeah, no, it, it helps with all of them areas, to be fair, whether it's business growth, whether it's picking up new leads, um, whether it's just PRing ourselves and demonstrating to the world what we're doing and what our launches are. These kind of shows are very popular. Brilliant. Yes. So, you, so far, so good? Found so, it? So far, so good, positive? yes. Absolutely. Brilliant. Yes. Is this a key um, exhibition in your ca events calendar? It is, yes. Yes. It, uh, we follow this very quickly with Ambiente um, in Germany. So, um, you know, from our side of things, all of these shows are very important. Brilliant. Well, thank yeah. you very much for your time. You. you may have a new customer in me. Brilliant. And the best of luck yes. with the rest of the show. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> Take care. Nice to meet you. And you. Thank you.